And now, your Norcast weather update. Brought to you by Orbit Energy and Power, offering hassle-free financing, lease to own options, even a zero out-of-pocket, no money down solar energy program. Act now, before time runs out, for the 26% federal solar tax credit. Call 844-GO-ORBIT or visit orbitenergy.us. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your lunchtime forecast. I'm Nori Strake. Look, a lot like yesterday, we have a mixture of clouds and sun. We also have a chance of a couple random showers or thunderstorms coming through the area as well. Yesterday was very comfortable, regardless of how much cloud cover we had and the showers, which I'm not going to complain about because we need the rain. We have built up a hefty deficit, but that's neither here nor there. The humidity is going to be rising today, so it's not going to be as comfortable as yesterday. Dew points are going to find themselves in the upper 60s again, and then into the 70s we go on Thursday and Friday. So that icky, sticky, swampy feeling is going to come right back into our region. We remain unsettled with that chance of showers today and tomorrow and Friday. Each one of the next few days will feature some level of wet weather. Now, no one day is going to be washout. I would welcome that for sure. It's just not going to happen. You'll have to keep your eyes to the sky and have an umbrella handy just in case you're out and about and you have to dodge those raindrops. Dew points are coming up region-wide. 72 right now in Atlantic City. Didn't really get that much of a break at the coastline yesterday, and you're really not gonna do that today. Mainland communities, west of Hamilton especially, a little bit better as those dew points are in the lower 60s right now, but you can see by the green on the map and the level of green that we are in trouble with that sticky feeling coming right back in. 84 in Philly, 82 in Atlantic City, 82 in New York, 76 in State College, and 82 in Washington, 75 in the Pittsburgh area right now. We'll zoom in and you'll see that we are climbing into the low and mid 80s right now. And that's pretty much where we stay for the rest of the day. Like I said, unsettled. Several opportunities of showers. You see a 30% chance on Thursday. A cold front comes through on Friday night. That could spark some showers and thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side, so we'll monitor that situation. But then we're dry over the weekend with another chance coming in on your Monday, which is odd because it feels like each one of the past few Mondays have featured some kind of wet weather. About 85 today under partly cloudy skies. The clouds are going to try their hardest to win out. If you're heading towards Brigantine, LBI, Ocean City, You can expect uh, temperatures in the lower 80s there. Maybe not the best beach day, but a little bit nicer than yesterday. As long as we have this front in close proximity to our region, it's acting as an atmospheric train track. And that's allowing waves of low pressure, ripples of energy to come along it and give us that chance of showers and thunderstorms. Here we are on Thursday morning. We're good. In the afternoon, a little piece of energy comes up and gives us isolated showers or storms. But we're watching this front. This front comes in on Friday afternoon and evening, and along it, we could get some of those thunder boomers to pop on up. It's going to be out of here just in time for your weekend, though. Mostly sunny and hot. Dew points continue to climb on your Thursday, 91 main lane, 86 of the beaches, and your 7-day forecast is going to show you temperatures pretty much consistent in the mid and upper 80s right into the weekend. And then next week, that's when we start to see your 90s return in full fledge.